Hello. Hey. Welcome to Mystery Crate. We're joined Ooh, today by a, a special a... special guest, Greg Cody. Hey. Wow. Hello, everyone. How are you doing, Greg? I'm well, Billy. How are you? Is this your first Mystery Crate? It can't I don't be. I think so. It can't be. You've yeah. been on before. I Listen, you had to have yeah. been on before. This is the 226th edition. Yeah. That's wow. So that's, wow that's, really? that's crazy. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome. Wow. Big milestone, 226. Actually, that's, I, 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 I can't believe. we, Me and my dad, at the very beginning of Mystery Crate, had a you never know thing. Where, yes. Remember when we were all doing, like, you create Random 10 stuff. minutes of content. Yeah. You do. So, like, yeah. there was actually, now that I think back. It was back, actually a Mystery Crate. My dad's been wow. on many a Mystery Crate early on. That's true. Wow, that's true. But not under this format. Well, 226, no. I'm so honored because, uh, you know, Hallmark <laughs> makes a card for your 226th episode. Can I wow. make, a, can I make yeah. a confession if we're talking about cards? And I'd just like to say for anyone out there listening, I have a hot tip for you guys. Uh oh And I think a lot of you guys probably have done this and maybe have discussed this before. So Mother's Day is coming up. Yep. It's this, this weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you guys get cards for your mother's mm -hmm. spouses. I feel like loved we're ones, obliged whatever, to, Right. right? So how much do you pay for your cards? Oh, cards are crazy. Yeah. I mean, you can a, a regular card now is like 750, you know, 695. Way too much. It's you're crazy. also don't I mean, I don't want to say brand names here, but if you're going to Hallmark, you're doing it wrong. What? Like there are places to yeah. go yeah. where you can supermarkets. Get, yes. No, no. Like, there, American greetings. I have, I have a stores. special place that I don't really want to give out. But who cares? Uh, five oh, below. You brought it up. Five below. Five See, below. I mean. Dollar have, store. A, like a full blown dollar card rack. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. I went to Dollar Tree yesterday and I bought a bunch of Mother's Day cards. Like, for all for the future? mothers. No, like, oh. like my, my wife said, hey, can you go and get Mother's Day cards for my mom, for your mom? I ended up getting her one from there too. Naturally. Because, you know, while I'm there, a dollar, each one of those cards. And three cards I probably saved. Let's say you're averaging like. Five ninety nine is probably like the cheapest card that you can get now at like a like CVS a pharmacy or, or like a Target or whatever. That's like on the cheap end. Then they're like they go up to like eight ninety nine, whatever. Mm. If we're looking at seven ninety nine a card, so eight dollars a card, I went from twenty four dollars to three dollars on cards yesterday. Jeez. Do you let the card speak for you, or do you and like do you get one that's got a long nice message and then you just write love at the end, or do you have one that's very simple in the card and then you write the message? I augment. Mm. Like I, I write a little line or a little, you know, mini poem or something. A little mini poem. Yeah, no. in addition to what really? the card says. Really? Baby! Yeah, yeah, every once in a while. That kind of thing. No. But you don't write that in the card. No. I write that kind of thing. No, you don't. That's what I no, write. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Are you going to start uh, outsourcing this to ChatGPT now? Yeah. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ooh. Because that kind of thing works for any holiday, by the way. I have a question for you guys also now that we're talking about cards, which isn't what we were going to talk about at all, but... So do you sign, like, for your wife, I guess more for you, Chris, like, for your wife, do you sign it from your daughter? Like, do you sign it from Jumpin' Charlie? Like, do I get, you sign I get a cards? card for Graceland. I get a card from me, a card from Graceland. Wait, you get a card for who? For my wife. Well, that's another issue, right? On Mother's Day, like, the, Gr Christy will get a card that's just from Graceland, and then she'll get one from me, and I, like, you know, help Graceland sign it. Did you stuff. do, like, the hand turkey kind of thing where you... Do the handprint and then have no. Her write I like her name. Graceland just because she can write her name a little bit now. So she prior like, to well, that she'll though. write. Uh, I don't. I've never done the hand turkey, but I would just mm. let her kind of scribble on it. So do you uh, does everybody get their wife's Mother's Day presents, even though they're I not don't. their mother? Not not no. presents. I don't get my wife a Mother's well, Day present. I, yes, but. I do more like the flowers at work. I like it's more just like <laughs> sentimental I'm saying, things. Though, I don't get her like a necklace for Mother's but Day. But you're fine. By the fact that she's not your mother, but you're still because because you should get your mother something obviously. But oh, you're, you're getting saying, your wife something that's not your mother. You're saying that I technically only need to get Christy something from Graceland, and that I don't have to technically get her. I'm I, asking if that's I, a strategy. I think, I think that's a dangerous. You should game. only have to buy. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think you're asking for a problem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a dangerous game, but I'm just wondering. I feel like you can be yeah. okay. You it's know a dangerous what? game, not worth playing. Yeah. No, yeah. probably not. Let me ask you guys a question. <laughs> that, that should be the name of this podcast. Yeah, exactly. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> okay, um, so I have two. I have two questions here and two topics that I want to get to, and you guys can kind of choose if you would like which direction. My dad's got a vibe go to him right now. By the yeah. way, just lean I back. Your dad's He's energy. so chill right now. What kind of shoes? <laughs> oh, wow. Got wow. some new boat shoes on there. Ah, Those yeah. are not new. What are you, oh, uh, are you okay? There you go, Greg. I'm good. Greg almost fell. It's all good. Can I say one more thing about cards Whatever before you want. we move on? <laughs> Absolutely. The um, the thing I love about cards is that if you want to be a real cheapskate, you make a homemade card. Because mm. not only do you save a lot of money, but you get credit 
Yeah. Wow. Right? You get Added credit. Value. Yeah, mm-hmm. you get credit for making for taking for the being time. Creative. It's like for credit being creative credit for being manipulation. thoughtful. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But that yeah. can't right. be Smart. it's gotta be sad looking. No. It's gotta be yeah. this like sad booklet. It's, it's true. If Do you give like a border to it? No, if it looks sadder. That means you went more creative. Well, it's like, oh, he really tried. That's right, exactly. Yeah. Hold on a right. second. At what age are you guys doing this? Because there's a cutoff. Like he you has can, not you, done that. You ever. can get away with doing that for your child, like on your child's behalf. Yes. You do something like like that's easy. That's a cheat code. But you yeah. would still, as an adult, do that. I don't think anyone makes home and cards. When's the last time you did that? Oh, I probably haven't done it since I was like. 12. Let's do it this year. You did it for mom when you were 12? We I have think time. I did, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? I think I did. The other thing I do, which I'm embarrassed every time I do it, is I buy my wife a card from the cat and the dog. <laughs> that's what oh. I was. That's really what I was yeah. trying to ask. Yeah. Yeah. No, I do. I do that. I do that, too. Yeah. So do you really? Jeez. Yeah, I do. Excellent. Waste of money. You, can I tell you guys? It is a waste of money. Hopeless romantics. <laughs> can I tell you another nice. cheat code that you can that you can use that's like not that expensive for like a gift that you can get like bonus points on? Because you're saying like you do a homemade card and you like you get bonus points for that. A printed out picture in like a frame, thoughtful. Yeah, it is. It's considered Very thoughtful. Much. You get yeah. the right yeah. frame. You mm-hmm. get the right picture. You can go out there, f- friends, if you're listening, and you want to save a buck or two here on you know Mother's Day that's coming up, Valentine's Day next year, whatever. Go out there. You get a nice frame. They're on sale a lot of times in different places. You get a nice frame. You print out a picture at your local pharmacy. You send it away. You can do it on an app now. You print that out. You then go. You get the dollar store card. That's another dollar there. And then maybe a couple flowers. You're you're in with, like, a great present for, like, phew, less than $30. You know what's big, too, now is making those books. Hi, have you seen them at CVS or the pharmacies where you can send them? Like different pictures, and they build a yeah. book for you, and then you get the book. Mm. That's complicated. It and is, that's a lot of then you start committing. Which, which do I want to be the big picture over here, the small picture, the yeah, round picture? Though. What do I do? Yeah. You know what had Almost a moment? too much thought. Was that a scrapbook? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, like kind them. of. No, scrapbooking's dead. Yeah. I'd just like to say it scrapbooking is. died. You know, you know what else That's is dead? That's long gone. No yep. one scrapbooks anymore because yeah. you can just go and get like a Shutterfly book or whatever. and then It's called that. my album on my phone. Basically. No, and But like also, you know what had a moment? Now pretty much gone? Edible arrangements. Mm, yeah, 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 they had a moment. Maybe. We're very hot. Whoa, whoa Chris. The very hot moment, and now not so much. It's a strange gift, right? Just here's a gift of fruits. Just fruit. Yeah, it's to weird. Enjoy. Can we go weird. back real quick to the cards from the animals? Jeremy and my dad Kinda both sad. do this. Now it, it is sad. Do, <laughs> yeah. does, does, do your spout? Does your fiance and your wife? Do they think that this is actually like? Do, do they thank the animals, or do they know this is from you? <laughs> no, no. I think she has is a there, good idea that it's from me. But here's what else I do on the card from the animals, and I will admit this. Where I say, jump in Charlie's name, I draw a little dog paw. Greg, you and I are simpatico, I, because I do the exact I same thing. Yes. I, and, and I my, do the exact same right, thing. Right, and my, and my cat is named Ollie, so I will draw the little whiskers, the little cat I whiskers. mean, that's just adorable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. You know, you and I are on the same what page here. Time. I will no, do you the have, same no, thing. Absolutely not. It's so thoughtful. <laughs> absolutely not. I love it. That's, that's exactly great. how you do I, it. I want to call my mom right now and ask her how ridiculous she thinks that is. No, you should. Call her. I'm going to draw for you what I do on my card. I love it. Oh, he's going to draw. I'm so excited to see Oh, I can't wait to see this. Arts I love Do you it. get one from the cat and one from the dog? No, uh, one card for both. Okay, oh, here we go. Hold on, here we go. Do you yeah, get one fine. for Father's Day? My mom never answers. Please let her know. No, that I don't. Right away, though. <laughs> that's true. That's wow. Sign. Your cat and dog love mommy more than you, huh? It's <laughs> unfortunate, Greg. My mom never answers when I call anymore. Now that I have a kid, it's hard, a lot harder to get a hold of the grandparents when you have a kid. Really? Because they always want you to take care of them? Because they think I'm always asking for something. Really? Dude, I call my mom now, like on a Friday. She'll be like, what do you need? She'll be like, why do you? You have to go out. What do you need? My parents like often don't answer my calls, and they're not they're not old. But I've thought about getting them life alert just so I can track them down, just in case. <laughs> what? You don't have them on your on your phone, like find my friends. No, I I have my parents on. No, I know exactly where they are. They just don't answer the phone. They're oh, home. Oh. They just don't answer the so phone. So you can see that they're home. No, I know that they're home. They just don't answer the phone. They don't know where their cell phone is. The house phone is not charged. It's just a whole thing. All right, so here are Greg's dog and cat signatures. Your dog uh, has... Hold on, g- give it a second so Jason can zoom in. Yeah, Your zoom dog in has that, yeah. three yeah. paws, it looks like, or three fingers only? What's yeah, going it's on a, here? It's a, the padding of his paw. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But he's only got two... Uh, do you put two a name underneath, or do you just put those markings? What? I write, Char- I write, jumping Charlie with the little paw print, uh-huh. and then I write Ollie with the little whiskers. Y- you're missing some toes there on that paw. You know, well, okay. you know, come on, the Maybe dog's not complaining. Set. Neither is my wife. You know, after, oh, okay. seeing, after seeing this, I'm kind of out on the whole thing. No yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a good move. No, it's whiskers it's was still good. Still sad. Though. Thank still you. Still sad. I disagree. 
<laughs> Billy, but you don't I even don't do it yourself. I don't disagree I do, with I Tony. actually do do that. I sign things from Dopey. From I say like love, Dopey, Izzy, and I, I write my daughter. My daughter can't write her name, and oh. she's a year old. I do that with like holiday gifts. I'll have like a gift f- for my dad from Jumping Charlie. Like I, I like to play with to and froms. That's the only time I've done anything yeah. like that. We do that for, welcome. for the other kids in the family. So like the other kids in the family are You're always welcome. from my daughter. My daughter's the one that gives the gifts to the other kids in the family. Speaking oh, of gifts, unless you want to keep talking about cards, does anyone else have anything on cards, or are we? Nah, we can we'll move circle on back cards. when my mom calls me back. Yeah. Okay, so are you guys familiar with Mr. Beast? Because Mr. Beast is everyone a... was sharing that thing. Exactly yeah, right. That's you sure. know he's sure. looking at profiles. Thing. Hey, Amino Hassan, he's never gonna give you ten grand well, because the, you're like art. Like the, the, I don't think the, the thing was, was explain it to me. What, what's what's going on? This guy was giving away. He he put out a thing. It's my birthday. I'm giving away fifty grand, ten grand each to five random listeners. All you gotta do is. Follow me, share this Post thing on a your, story. and tag somebody. Yeah, the, the, it never the, works. And I saw a lot of people I know, including Amino Hassan. And I just feel oh, like you what? think that the, you think there's that I think that these things are hand picked. They look for people that looks like they need I, it. I think within the first two minutes of him posting it, they're already given out. Because the second I go to his page and I see six million likes on that post, I'm like, I'm not doing this. Right. Like because what are the odds? Oh, it is his engagement. No, right. for him. So and for it him had it like is, yeah. and it has like I think like sixteen million dollar like dollar likes. Like, this thing is crushing. But everybody's doing it. Like, so many people have done yeah, it. I, I, it seems like nobody here has done it. Hey, but you idiots. know what? No ill will to Mr. Beast. He does those videos helping deaf people hear again. He does, like, a thousand at a time. Oh, no, I like, like yeah. He does a lot him. of cool yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah I like good, yeah. But also, don't retweet or have to, like, repost something because it makes you look like an This idiot. isn't a yeah. shot at Mr. Beast. Wow. It's a shot at Amin for thinking he's going to get picked. You're like, Amin, like, hey. Let, I, I'm taking grand. this person, this person, and TV personality, like, NBA analyst, Amino <laughs> Hassan. mark on IG. Like, <laughs> Well, what if he does get picked? Then I'll have to eat this, but he's not. How do you know? <laughs> I saw a thing that he gave away, like uh, like like a replica of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory to someone. He does. It's all through videos, so it's one of those things where it all seems like he's being very. I'm not saying. I'm not no, I mean he's making money, careful. but he's also he gives back. Right, like, his stuff. He's well, I think so much I think that, that what's yeah. I think what's given away is like whoever the partner is or the sponsor. Yeah, is yeah that. that too. Yeah. So like this is not fifty thousand. Presumably he's giving away. It's whoever is sponsoring this. Right. Yeah. He, I'm sure he's just his. got tons of sponsors. But, but like I got to give it to him. He could just pocket all this cash. Yeah. But he no. uses it to help. People a lot of stuff, people yeah. make bank on social media, and there's very few as generous as him. Hmm. Look so, at us. So you guys are not in on this post then. My second favorite beast. Uh, Brian Who's, London. Yep. Burger beast. Brian Burger London. Beast is my favorite beast. Shout out to Burger Beast. X-Men. Roy gave you a layup into the Marvel talk and you didn't take it. Ah, uh, the Marvel He said the talk. Beast X-Men and then you just rolled it. Well, I, I, I have Marvel. I, I'm, I'm yes. only, I don't know if you guys uh-huh. do this with Marvel. I'm only into one movie. Like Guardians that. of the Galaxy. Same. That's it. I'm into, uh, and granted, didn't love the third one or the second one. But those like, I've just kind of focused. You mean the third the one third? just came out like a week yeah. ago? But the third yeah. one, I thought it was the second best in the series. Right. The second one was... Yeah, yeah. Out but of three. That's not saying much. I know, but I, but the second one, the second one was fun, but it wasn't good as the first one, and the third one like kind of redeemed it a little bit. But I didn't see Very Endgame, emotional and apparently, like, I don't want to say names oh, yeah, to ruin it, but there was a huge character from Guardians that something may have happened to them in another Marvel movie well, in Endgame, and I was just watching the third one, waiting for a character. Hold on a second, <laughs> that never showed up. I'm like looking at the cast. I'm like, did they recast her? What's happening? And it's just gone. I don't think that you can spoil something. If it happened already in another movie, right? Like you can't say spoiler. Like most alert. people know what I didn't know because yeah. they watch Endgame. Correct. Yeah, Gamora if, died. If you're a full. Whoa, 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 come on! Dude. You just gave me but permission. Oh, also, to be fair, really really just do. to be fair, Endgame was in like that. 2019. That's <laughs> so, <laughs> four years it's ago. It's out. You can say it. Um, and then I said it. it, and Billy's like, "Whoa!" <laughs> yeah, I'm just playing both sharks. Better you say it than me. How did Gamora die? I don't know. She sacrificed herself. No, she was just the one where the thing snaps and then half the people. Disappear. Yeah, Thanos threw her off a cliff to get the Soul Stone. What happened Whoa. with the yeah. snapping and then half of the? If Chris like, Pratt hadn't been listening to his music, maybe he could have helped her. Yeah, no, see, loves, you don't know what happened. This guy what? loves music, man. Did you guys see that that video of of uh, it's James Gunn, right? He's yeah, the, he's the director, yeah, yeah. James James Gunn basically saying he made up the entire Infinity Stone thing in like an hour and a half. No, he's he, like, oh, okay. this will be what ties so, everything so, together. Uh, sure, he's playing both sides. And he had to like send an email, like, oh, can we kill her? No, no. Yeah, can we do this? What happened was is they get to the Guardians movie. And they decided we're going to marry all this stuff together and make this huge saga. James Gunn was next in line to do the next movie. 
So since Guardians plays into that space thing, they gave him basically, right. this is how we're going to do it. And he like retconned a bunch of stuff that already existed, plus added some stuff. And he's the one that made the whole Infinity Saga happen, basically. It's just wild to me that he was like, ah, I've got like an hour to kill. Let yeah. me but they, meld but they the all entire, of but these they, things But together. they gave him the power to do that. They're like, you're going to be the one that sets this up. And then everybody played ball. And then you get one of these big epic movie things. And here we are. How much power uh, do some of these directors have in terms of like crafting the narrative in these universes? Because I saw, um, and I was reading this not that long ago. So you guys have seen or heard of the movie Frozen, correct? It's a classic. Uh, yes. yes. The kids guess, movie? Yeah, sure. Yes, yes yeah. the kids movie. They, they, they've they've it watched film. it more than us. I know, I know of it. The kids. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so spoiler it alert. In, in the Frozen it. movie, at the beginning of the movie, the parents go off to sea to do something. They disappear. Yeah. And we presume... It's a Disney movie. ...that they are no they're longer dead. with us. I mean, they're exactly. engulfed by the, like, the biggest wave I've ever seen. Okay, wow. yeah. It's such a quick death. Because they don't... Because like, it's like a, a kid's Every movie, so they don't want it to be like... But it's just like a boat. You see a boat. You see a big wave. No more boat. Okay. That's it. So Frozen came out in whatever year it came out, like 2013 or something, right? Whatever year it was yeah. that it came out. There was a theory going around afterwards that the parents didn't die, that they survived, mm. and that Tarzan was a sibling of the Frozen Anna I've and Elsa. This. Are they going to start – is Disney going to well, start doing this Marvel uh, no, thing? No, hold on a second. So, so then the director well, they are. then confirms yeah, this yeah. theory, and then when Frozen 2 comes out or when another movie comes out, Disney's like, that's not true. That's not what happened. That's not that's not true. That's not true. So the that's director took it upon herself to to go along with this theory that was out there, saying like, "Yeah, Tarzan's part of this whole world," and they're like, "No, no, it's not." Wow, <laughs> how, Dad, how many Marvel movies have you seen? I don't know that I could name many. I mean, mm. name them. I, I don't know a Marvel movie from a. Have you seen any of the Spider Mans with like Tobey Maguire? <laughs> yes, I've those, seen a couple. Those are of Sony those. movies. That, really? are, that aren't really attached. Oh, yet. please. Yeah. Ah, see, Come see, on. We don't it's, a whole, it's tricky. I have seen Spider Man. How about movies? Iron Man? No. You seen Iron Man with Tony Stark? With no, he Iron dies. Man. No. Speak, if you want to let check out the Greg Cody show this what week. What are you doing? Greg man. doesn't know movies. We highlight my dad's ineptitude. I truly don't. I Good have word. seen Spider Man though, the one with Maguire. What's the last one you saw? What's like the last movie you saw in the theater, <clears throat> if you can remember it? Um, with the, yeah, this was like a, a show staple. Actually, have you seen one since Swing Vote? Yeah, yeah. I saw Rocket Man, the Elton oh, John right. biopic. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Is it, is it biopic not, or not biopic? Not the Disney movie. That's what not I was Come on, Greg. Me and you, same wavelength. <laughs> is it biopic or biopic? Great question. Back biopic. Back I think it's biopic. I like biopic, though. Because it's a biography movie. Yeah, but... Yeah. I prefer biopic. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at the MCU Wikipedia, and there's an Infinity Saga and a Multiverse Saga. These are yeah, different. totally different. Multiverse Total Saga yeah. is what they're in now. And Got the it. Infinity Saga was everything before. So that's it's done. All roll. Yeah. The Infinity Saga is over. It's over. And it, it ended with that Doctor Strange. Strange. No, I think it's ended with uh, Far From Home, which was the last Spider-Man movie. Oh, the Spideyverse. Yeah, that yeah. was the last one. Spider-Man Far From Home was the last one in the Infinity Saga. And then we started the Multiverse Saga that started with Black Widow, which has been a disaster. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Um. So I have a question for you guys. What's that, Billy? I don't know if you guys have this happen to you on the calendar often, the shared calendar that we have for different things that happen. But every once in a while, you'll see someone has like an appointment or like, hey, I need to go and get my car checked or whatever because they put it in the wrong calendar and it shows up like in the main show calendar or something, right? Does that happen to any of you guys? No, you ever... not really. Okay, good. Like yeah, I don't see like, me. oh, or like me seeing it or me putting it on there. Either or. No. Doesn't matter. You're not helping here. So apparently, <laughs> apparently last year when I went to the dermatologist, I put in my future dermatologist appointment for a year from then in the show calendar because Hold I on, got, before I got you, a text. Before you go there, yeah. when you, that's, that's something that pisses me off about going to the doctor and the, the re-up visit. It's like, hey, what are you doing six months from now on a Tuesday? I'm like, uh, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, is six months good from now? I'm like, sure. When, when, you, when you hurt your ankle and you tried to go to an orthopedic, did they mm -hmm. try to make you wait like eight months? No, God, no. Yeah, like My, I, it, it looked like I stepped on a landmine. Yeah, so they were like, no, we need to figure that out. No, That's there's, the there's sometimes that you try to make an appointment. Like, oh, we can see you in two months. Like, oh, I'm not going to be sick by then. Like, it will be <laughs> resolved. I'll either be dead or yeah. it'll have been it could be by dead then. by then. Yeah. Exactly. Like, <laughs> no, no, oh, but the, or the orthopedics are great. They're like, oh, yeah, we can see you in four months. So what do I do with my broken arm? Exactly. Like, do I just chill? Like, like, I can't. like not eat? I don't like. Anyway, so I guess apparently the last time I went, Greg, to the dermatologist, I made a follow-up for a year from now. I don't, I didn't even remember doing it, but I got a text from Cynthia, who works with us, and she was saying, like, hey, did you put this in here by accident? It's like, well, obviously, why would I want everybody to know I'm going to the dermatologist? <laughs> but it's supposed to be about a month from now, 
And the last time that I went, it was the first time that I had gone in a really long time and they did the full body scan for me, right? Oh, but like wow. the, the visual Wait, body scan. what do you mean? Like I had to take off my clothes, I was in my undies, Ooh. and then I had a robe over me and then they like, you know, looked me I've never been to a dermatologist. Up and down. You should go to a dermatologist. Yeah, you should do that. I've, I've never been to one. You should go to a dermatologist. So anyways. Living down here, you definitely should. They yeah, do. Yeah, just get a little 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 That's cool. Right. I just, I've never they been do the up and down. they like, take it off. Yeah, so You're good. they're looking at me doing the, you know, up and down, staring me, like checking to make sure that I don't have anything going on with my skin, right? And at one point they like pulled down my undies and looked at my butt and I was like, I don't know if this mm -hmm. is like how things go, but I and never then they're, and, then was, and then they were like slowly turn around. I was like, what? <laughs> no, that's what they do. It happens. Okay, well, yeah, the mine does yeah. that too. The point of it was is that last year when I went to the dermatologist, I was not expecting that to be the case and I was like, I could be in a little better shape if someone's gonna mm -hmm. like look at me up and down. A bit pudgy. And I told myself, Iron Temple baby upstairs every day. I told myself I'm going to get in shape for the next time I come. And then I didn't know, grow up. I didn't know until I got the text from Cynthia. I didn't know that it was coming up again now in a month. So now I'm like stressing out because it's supposed to be in June. And I'm kind of like... And you're not where you want to be physically. Is no, I'm just as bad, if not worse, <laughs> than I was last year. So now I'm trying to figure out, like, how do I cram to look good when I go to the dermatologist? Just for, like... Cut out carbs. Ups. A lot Cut of push carbs and you start need doing. To, you need to tone down I because here's is, the I thing. I knew this was going here. Billy, I just brought you McDonald's. Okay, that's the thing. <laughs> Tony walks around and he's always judging everybody on I'm what it is that they anybody. eat and what it is that they drink. I just don't and want you, you to drink do this, Coke. That's you can't all. do that. While he's doing his little caffeine pills in the corner, he's telling everybody, don't do this, don't do that. It's so <laughs> bad for your body. In the corner. Right? And then what <laughs> yeah, happens? Like then what happens? That's crazy. Our guy Frankie comes Our guy Frankie comes in and he straight up looks in Tony's like, what are you eating? No, he's 100% Like, look right. at what yeah. you're eating right now. And he's like, no, I'm not going to. He's like, you were eating that last week, too. And was that's straight up oh, doing no, the Tony. That's exactly not Tony. I didn't, everyone else. Tony. I didn't eat McDonald's last week. It yeah, great. it was Chick-fil-A. Oh, it was Chick-fil-A. But I got a salad. <laughs> I got a salad, though. I got a salad. Got fire oh, salad. great. Relax, salad. With the dressing. Yeah. The, the spicy Southwest salad's fire. Anyway, so I'm thinking of doing core work for my uh, my appointment because I feel Kirk, like four weeks of core that's work. I do anything. I just I just that's not true. I'm changing my my workout to more core and cardio based. Six now. weeks you, of core work. You would be really four surprised. Weeks of core, dude. Not even like just like like easy like five minute core like stretching and stuff like that makes a huge difference in like three weeks four weeks time like your body transforms a little. You bit. really got to stop the Coca Cola. That's yeah. all I've been trying. to I really haven't been gotta. having that much. I really Bobby, haven't. I just saw you have one. I poured half of it out. You didn't see. I did. I, pour, I drank <laughs> like half homies. of it and I poured half of it out. I just need a kick because I can't do so much coffee. So I drink like a little bit just to get the like, a, just a little oomph to get me going. And then I pour the rest of it out. All it's I very wasteful. Say, but All I try to say is I'm not judging anybody. I just want you to be healthier. Coke isn't good for you. I try to tell Coogs having 17 liters of Diet Coke is not good for you. No, That's all I'm fine. trying to say. Coogs is fine. Don't worry about him. Billy, let me see if I have this straight. Yeah. You're going to work out. For two months to impress your dermatologist. I'm not even joking. <laughs> one month. No, I think you got it right. You got it right. You got it right. You got the spirit of it right. I, but only I, one just, month. Spirit of you it. have the spirit That's of it right. Shorter term. Let though. me clarify. I'm not trying to impress the dermatologist. I'm trying not to be embarrassed by myself. Mm. I'm trying to not feel that shame of having someone see me in this disgusting form is what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not trying to like woo the dermatologist and be like, oh my God, like this person is in such great shape. Like let's end multiple marriages. That's not what I'm into. I just don't want to look embarrassing is what it is. It's more a you thing. It's a hundred percent of me thing. It's yeah. a completely my insecurities that okay. I'm like, you know what? I need to go and I need to like do some core work or something. So that I, and by the way, you, you know the way that this ends, right? You guys know the way that this ends. Yeah, is that's I, by you not doing anything. Is I don't do anything, and then I cancel the appointment. And then I don't forget, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I don't go to the dermatologist for five years. Like, that's how this ends. So it always ends. Do you have a good dermatologist? <sighs> I have learned that, and maybe it's just my dermatologist, dermatologist bread and butter is like Botox and stuff like that. And ginger. So like while I'm going in there thinking like everyone's <laughs> trying to see like if they have like some sort of like skin thing or if they want to have a mole removed or whatever, like you're sitting there and it's like, hey, we have a new deal on Botox. Hey, we have this, we have that. And it's all these other like superficial procedures, I think. It seems like a scam. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that is such a it is such a weird thing about the dermatologist. Like, why, it's like why, hey, why is that the thing that puts you, you over got the this edge? thing? And I it's just, like, oh, it is. Okay, I, I have gone to the dermatologist where it's like they just kind of look at you. 
You know what I mean? Like, I'm always just like, how do you, like, do you know that there's nothing wrong? Mine barely acts like she cares. She's like, ah, yeah, you're fine. I'm even fine, like, if you do, like, a fake, like, black light or whatever, you just go like this. (laughs) Black light? Yeah, like, just some fake. Wow. Mine has. Looking for, like, no, no, my dermatologist has, like, something like that. It's like a little scanner thing, and whenever there's there's one freckle or mole or whatever that's concerning, she'll put the little black light thing on it and check and just be sure. Yeah, it tells you if something's wrong. Have you dealt with this a lot, Dad? I've never had the black light thing. I mean, I do go to a dermatologist. This is a new and unimproved Dan Levitar <laughs> show with the Sugars. Gamble on by DraftKings. So if you guys watched the show on Friday, there was a question posed on our little TV-only segment that was recorded. And basically, we had a little controversy about if someone sees you use hand sanitizer after the bathroom, do you think they've washed their hands? I don't like did the say, way. I don't did you say bathroom. Yeah, did you? bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of mold the T and the H. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I thought so. I don't <laughs> like the way you're looking at me. I don't think this went well for me. <laughs> okay, so because I said, in, I predicted in that episode that Frankie would think that I don't want because Jess and I both admitted to after we walk Wash out, hands. washed hands, we sanitized, yeah. and I was like, I think he's gonna think I don't wash my hands and not think that you do. Did I so, nail it? So yeah, you have a Wait, so, what? this is so so sexist. It, yeah, so it ended up being <laughs> Frankie said Roy that um, he said it depends on the person. It's very particular. He he was kind of non-committal. So he does keep tabs though. Well, because, the because, way you should have phrased it is just: Is there anyone here that you've doubted whether they wash their no, hands no, when they walk out? No, no, because that, that, that changed that changes it? what we were doing. I said, look, so when someone comes out of the bathroom and they use the hand bathroom. sanitizer. You were going more general, right? Yeah, do you assume they wash their hands and are using the hand sanitizer, or do you think they're just using the hand sanitizer? At first, I, gu- I guess he was a little confused because he said, oh, I think they just use the sanitizer. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay, he thinks we're all dirty, Yeah. right? Mm. Then he goes, wait, 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 say that again. I explained yeah. it, and then that's when he said it depends on who it is. I go, what about Chris? Yeah. And he goes, yeah. And I just walked away. See, he there was yeah, a pause. There was a, a pause. There I was a like pause, this. and it didn't seem like it was going to work out for you, Chris. I am a big time hand washer. Oh, I think we all have clean hands around here. Can I say something? Sure. sure. I love our new studio. I love the location. It's clean. It's nice. It's spacious. But everything's an upgrade. <laughs> big butt coming. <laughs> we don't have enough bathrooms here. Oh yeah. Uh, we have two individual bathrooms, okay. single stalls. Mm, I guess you're right. You go up to the gym and use it. Well, there's a, there well, are other. You can't do that because then everyone thinks you're going poop. Going What's yeah. wrong with that? Everybody poops. There's a book about it. By the way, before we move on too far from the hand washing <laughs> what do you, what do you, thing. Wait, hold on. Je- I go, everybody point. poops, and Jess goes, mm, like, like people don't poop? Yeah. Well. Just r- real fast, <laughs> I want to go back real fast because I just have some bona fides. Andrew Hawkins the other day was in here, and I, I said hello to him right after exiting the bathroom, and my hand was wet, and I had to do the thing where we're, oh. while we're about to shake, I, ju- I had to say, I just washed my hands. Sorry. And he's still, he, he hit me with, oh, it's all good. Like, he was willing to, because that's terrible, the right? The wet like, hand is disgusting. Right, the post-bathroom hand washing where it's like, now I have to shake someone's hand and you have to either, I usually opt for, like, the elbow, elbow Why bump. Why do you dry your hands? Well, I do, but they're just not fully dry. I do dry my hands, but even, they just have that. Even if you dry, there's going to be, like, a damp, fresh, yeah, that clamminess. Fresh, like, cold, because they just feel cold. I don't like that. But the water has rushed everything off. But you off. put the hand sanitizer on your wet hand? That, in that instance, I didn't hand sanitize, because I had it just washed, and I, like, I just, he was right there. So I, I didn't, like, want to, like, hand sanitize, then shakes. So like, he was just right there, so I just came but out of the bathroom. Felt, that would be an insult. Yeah, and he would be, he would have felt better if he would have hand sanitized. No, he would have no. thought this guy's nasty, he didn't wash I hit, his hands. I hit him with, just washed my hands, and he was so, he was like, oh, no problem. And he like went and he was like, "This is not stopping me from this handshake." Wow! <laughs> I'm shaking this man's hand. Yeah, mm. it says a lot about a person. Yeah, wasn't deterred. No, no. Mm. But another thing that we teased on that Friday show was uh, some problem that I have when people with ch- the cheers process. You know, you, you're oh, out with people yeah. first drink of the night. Hey, cheers! Or just any occasion. Hey, at a cheers! Wedding, at a wedding, you're continuously cheersing. And there's a step. I want. Uh, I bet you, Fuentes. I see you. You're a social guy. I bet you do this. I want you to walk me through the mechanics. Of a cheers, if you and Roy were to, che- were to cheers right now. Why don't you guys cheers? Why don't you have a fa- do a fake cheers with your phone? Oh, Hang on. there it oh, is. Oh, Roy, Roy just it. did the exact thing that I hate. Mm-hmm. This <laughs> unnecessary <laughs> step of cheers, I have to go down to the table before I can drink. Nonsense. What's the origin of that? I, mean, I don't know where it started, but it's a thing. Every like all my friends, if yeah. I ever cheers, and they always go down, and I always say to them. I'm not doing that. But what's, uh, it's I'll give you my origin. Why do you do it? Uh, it started with Ted Lasso. 
What? Him and Coach There's Beard. No him and Coach Beard with do Lasso. do that. No, not he, that's but how that's, he started doing that's it. That's how I it started oh. with me. Oh. So, so, I was going to say, wait, so this was invented like a year ago? <laughs> yeah, no, no, this goes <laughs> way back. This goes but I, back. But the thing is, whenever. It's a pub thing, right? Yeah, like. Okay. But why? It's so. What's the point of it? If I have a drink. Why? Uh, uh, <laughs> well, why, 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 just why? found the button board. Yeah, she's got the stream deck. <laughs> it just seems like a white guy's thing, right? Maybe. Like, Actually, right? but Roy is not white. Oh, true. Do you cheers your beers the same way you cheers your drinks? Uh, With beers, I just like tap the bottoms. I wanted to press one like, of the oh, bottoms. Okay? Oh, it's a bottle beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because if I if I put my beer on the table, every time I've done that, I've had foam come up. Like so. The, that's why. I, oh, oh, that's true. I yeah. thought it was a foam. I that's the only a good acceptable point. go down the table is if there's a race. If we're yes. chugging, yeah, yes. like like the one, two, right. three, cheers, then, table, go. Like a little. How rock, often paper, do you do that? I've, I haven't had a chugging race in since college. If it's a <laughs> chugging I mean. race, that's why uh, it's so unacceptable. It's only acceptable like at house parties during drinking games. Well, if it's a chugging race, then the finish line would be putting the glass back on the table, correct? At least upside down is how I usually do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm. and maybe if you're taking a shot, maybe. Oh yeah, I've seen it mo mostly with shots. Like I haven't seen like a champagne flute. <laughs> slam the table right. with a no, champagne. I was, actually, the table with a I was champagne wondering flute. what the etiquette was at a wedding when you're drinking something other than champagne and everyone is holding up their glass for the for a toast. Oh yeah. Are you supposed to hold up a champagne glass or do you just hold up your cocktail or it's wine at the or whatever? End of the, of the this speech. wedding there was like a lot of speeches, right. like a lot of toasts. But like at the end of the speech. It's right. like this person stands up, oh I love this person, and it's like at the end when they start rapping, right. they, everyone, they make they make the move, don't they? They go they, first. Which which you gotta go with the champagne. If yeah. you have glass, both, but you go I don't wanna with the drink the champagne. I don't want that. I guess no, it's whatever you're You don't like champagne? Right? You're fine doing wow. it. Ooh, I don't think do it's, that's a, it's not a faux pas. That's a major upset. The, the I thought you'd be like a champagne person. I love uh, spritzes. Mm. White woman. White, 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 white. white. Oh, I'm the worst singing ever. I hate that correct, sound. Correct it's use so, of the sound. It's so ugly sounding. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. me and Roy harmonizing, but not harmonizing. Wow. It's the worst. I produced that, it's so thank you. Uh, <laughs> you I mean, it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's bad. It's bad. The white guy's one is catchy. But I, I white just white woman's like whoa. I just, <laughs> but I just can't help myself. Like I that will, I will always call the person out when they do that. I'm always like, why'd you just do that? Why'd you go down? Why to did the you table? tap it? You're why'd elitist. You why did you go you, down on the table? But like the, the thing, the only thing <laughs> I hate about about uh, toast and stuff now is like in the social media age, the boomerang toast. Oh, I hate boomerangs every, every, so much. Every single time, like I see one of my female friends out, phew, I know for a fact I'm getting the boomerang post what story. of sexist. No, what? it's just for it's just a fact. Like not other guys don't do it too, I, but it's I, like I, I, I've, I've never seen a guy do it. No, yeah. that's I've seen dudes do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I am curious, what is the appropriate time for a boomerang? Never, never, they never. Have fallen, ever. They yeah, have fallen off. Fallen out of style. There's gotta it's be bizarre hmm. because Maybe, I thought they about, were cute. No, what about minute, if I'm on what about what if I'm on a swing? They're not. They're not. They're not in style not anymore. And no. I don't decide this. I don't make the rules. The worst one is the one that's like a, thing anymore. a choreographed dance, but then it gets that pause in the yeah, beginning. So it's like, yeah. and then it's like so yeah. cheesy and it's terrible. Annoying. We've got to be able, as a group, to find the appropriate. We should bring boomerang. boomerangs back. We should see if we can influence them back into the social. Lexicon. Twenty-four hours of nothing but boomerangs on let's the DLS Instagram. Oh yeah, no! Yeah, a ton of boomerangs. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, there you go. Let's do it now. I'll boomerang you with Dan's lotion here. Ready? Oh wait, no! I have to pull up my Instagram. Yeah, sorry, yeah we'll get there. you gotta we'll use fill. it through that. I'll do some textbook fill in here. There you go. Some um, filibuster. Words, <laughs> words, words, <laughs> thoughts. I had a, I had a. When we were teasing mystery crate, I mentioned like a lot of times in mystery crate we'd bring up our ideas yeah. that didn't make it onto the main show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had an idea that didn't make it on the main show this week, that is, I think probably my best idea yet. Wow! Cheers yeah, to that. Cheers. There you go. My <laughs> idea was. <laughs> <laughs> and clip this because I want credit for it mm -hmm. when it happens. Got you. Have you guys been paying attention at all to the war on rats in New York City lately? I've heard that they've become uncontrollably big. Yes, mm -hmm. they have taken over the streets. They are they have been thriving since the the COVID-19 pandemic began. There has been just a inundation of rats, more so than any other period in New York history. They are everywhere. And are you going to take the pro big rat stance? No, oh. I am anti rat. Okay. I hate rats. I actually like. Unless they're on the ice, am I right, Roy? That's right. Ooh, Panthers win, baby! Vamos Gatos. <laughs> Victory. When I moved to Miami, one of the things that I was like, oh, like I'm so excited to move to Miami, <laughs> was because I was so sick of seeing rats around my apartment. Because mm. it, it got to a point. I moved here in like summer of 2021 two years ago pretty much 
that was like the most rats I'd ever seen in my life in living in New York that summer. There was not a single time I would take my dog out that we wouldn't see like four or five yeah. rats in broad daylight. It was really bad. Like really? It, the infestation levels had had gotten to just a ridiculous level. So now anyways, it's iguanas here. Right? Yeah. yeah, but there's yeah. Not, iguanas are kind of cute. Well, I don't something know. Quick, I like kind of cute. Huh? Something real quick. I've been to New York a bunch of times. Been on the subway a bunch of times. Never seen a rat. I, it I've really depends me neither. where you I've are. I've been very few yeah, times, I've seen, but I've never seen. I've seen one mouse on in the subway tracks. That's it. What, never poor a guy. Yeah, oh. he was all by himself. It was Jeez. sad. Continue, Jess. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I should mention when I was back in New York this past weekend, I didn't see any. Well, I saw one. That's a lie. I saw one rat, but like the minute I got there. And then Where I would I go? Any. Like, as someone who doesn't know, like if I if I was going to New York and I'm like, let me check out this rat. Yeah, thing, are some boroughs like, like the place to go? Are they like more rats? prone to them? Well. So my experience has been that like different neighborhoods experience infestations at different times, mm. and then they'll call like one of these rat exterminators to come, and then maybe it'll get a little bit better, but then maybe they'll come back. So it depends. Yeah, I would say like I I see the most where I lived, so it's probably the same for everyone. Right. right? So like, like in your house, basically. Yeah. yeah. They're just not cause, just because like you're around there more. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Like you know the statistic like you're most likely to get in a car accident within five miles yeah. of your home because mm -hmm. you're you're comfortable. You're well, no, you drive within there five mostly, miles yeah, of your home sense. more than anywhere else. But right. anyways, I probably true? mislabeled that statistic, but yeah. whatever. You could mm -hmm. you could. It's correct right. though. Keep going. Stat of the day. So they hired a rat czar <laughs> to <Literally>. yes <laughs> exterminate all the rats. And one of the things that they're doing is they're putting in garbage cans. Wow, what a concept. But historically, there haven't been, there's no alleys right. in New York City, mm -hmm. so they haven't been places for garbage cans. One of the other things that I think they should do, and this is my free idea for the state of New York, okay? This is what we're clipping. This is do what I clip this clipping. too? Okay, clip this one. Right now, if you go on TikTok, power washing TikTok is one of the most mm -hmm. popular things on TikTok. Very if soothing. you watch a video of people power washing like a garage, yeah, it's great. a driveway, anything that's dirty, it gets a million views. Lawn cutting is good too. Everyone Oh, that's the, okay. the guy that I goes saw that guy yesterday lawns. again. Oh, dude, that guy works so hard for free. But he does this for thing. free. No, you, for for free. free. It's crazy. Yeah, actually. millions yeah. of views. Let's talk about okay, this. That, that dude's making bank, dude, making no, thousands is, of dollars. But the fact that. Okay, so I saw one yesterday, like it was literally the Amazon in front of this lady's house. And he was, and you could tell by the sun, he was there all day. And he said he moved three thousand pounds. I saw, saw this that one? one with the lady. Yeah, and she so and she's like, oh, he did an okay like, job. Yeah, that, he's like scraping so it off. Yeah. Uh, one thing that ticked me off about this, this is like TikTok deep in the weeds on TikTok. Ooh, oh, that's good. So this guy goes up to people's houses and he's like, "Can I mow your lawn for free, or, or do you your edges? The edging is the thing that, oh my god, yeah, it takes forever." It, I DM that guy. I was like, "Can you come to my really? house?" The edging. Did you really? No, yeah. I should. It's though. mesmerizing, Roy. It, re it really is so it is soothing. It's mesmerizing. I'm going to so send it to you. Show he, him on right now. Let's get his live reaction. So he doesn't have an actual edger that he can just. No, no. He, no, he, he does the edging. He, yeah, he does it for people whose lawns are completely Dude, overgrown. These, these houses free. haven't been cut yeah. in like two years. For a bunch like, of lazy no longer, fucks. I would yeah. say. Yeah, he does. Like Mike <laughs> Fuentes. <laughs> this is what I was going to say I have a problem what with. What did he say? I missed it. He called these people lazy. First off, lazy bones. That's what the carton art guy says. It's. Probably pretty mm. expensive to have all this equipment to do all this, right? Yes. Or to pay someone else to do it. So I feel like most of these people, I feel bad. Like they yeah. probably don't want their lawns to look like crap, but right. they do. And then I see on TikTok all these people in the comments like, "Wow, that lady wasn't even grateful." And I'm like, "Well, she didn't ask for right. them to come over." Right. But, well, it's yeah. also edited. Like she might have said a lot more. Right. And That's cut it down. Exactly. Yeah. I was yeah. like, we don't even know what she really said. All these yeah. people in the comments were like, "She's not even grateful. He cut his lawn." I'm like, this woman was just enjoying her day, and this guy yeah. showed up and was like, "Let me mow your lawn." And now everyone's judging her. Yeah. The crazy thing was, she was like, "Hold on, let me check." And I'm like, you had, you had to think about that's it. it. I yeah. would. I would <laughs> Wouldn't like, you I be taken know. aback if, like, all, like, just randomly yeah, someone's like, hey, I want to. It's well, like, what's the catch here? She probably thought right. in her head, like, what's the scam that's going to happen? Right. Exactly. Yeah. This guy's going to send me a bill and claim that I owe him money. Like, I would be like, I don't know. Yeah. I've come back later. Right. I'd be like, this is odd. Are you sure? Am I, is there, are you being videotaped? Is this in which he is? Because he's exactly. doing a video. Exactly. And I'd be like, please don't post yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to judge me for my reaction. Yes, you can do it, but you can't post it. My house number is on this video. Right. That too. Anyway. Anyways, free idea for the state of New York. Backtracking for a second. So the, the lawn videos and the power washing videos, the rug cleaning videos. So you're saying getting rats out. This is what not this isn't really a rat thing particu in particular, but one of the problem areas for rats is the subway. And the subway is really nasty. Mm -hmm. And I think the state of New York should do a power cleaning TikTok series in the subways 
don't power clean like the rats away. That sounds kind of graphic right. and disgusting. But like power clean the tiles yeah. and the ground. Like clean them what up. Would, what would it look like? And do a time lapse. Post it on TikTok. Do that you know crush. how many viewers that would get? That would crush. Uh, keep in mind that the uh, the trains run on electricity, so the water getting. Roy, when there is a like minimal storm, the the trains all flood. So this would oh, be nothing. This would be nothing compared to that. <laughs> I and was, I think um, if, if, it, if it gets wet, it's fine because the, the, the trains run, run when it rains. The last big rain they got, I got stuck mm. in like uptown Manhattan or whatever, one of those. And then I remember just seeing the videos and looking like, how the hell am I gonna get home? And then so I waited like four hours in this apartment. And then I was like, you know what? I'm taking an Uber. It was a hundred and forty-eight dollar Uber <laughs> just to go like three miles. Wait, you actually took it? I had to. That, no, yeah. that it, was, is, it was still that raining like five illegal. hours later. Yeah, I mean, I was tired of shit. Like I just wanted to get the hell out of there. Roy, yeah. are you watching right now? Power. He's watching training? the the, yep. the, the awesome, long right? guy. The yeah. long yeah, guy is, is really remarkable. Good on him. Good on him. I wish he could come to my house and do That's it. That's what I'm exactly. saying. Exactly. Just send Where, him a DM. Like, hey, I I, 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 I was hope that to you come. He come yeah. bi-weekly, please. Well, I'm hoping that your guys' lawns are not in that condition. That that guy would ever even offer you guys. Dude, I have lawn people. It takes them. Seven minutes to do my house. Really? I'm always like thinking. I'm like, I mean, it's not that expensive. It's like twenty something bucks. Like, because I have, I don't have like a huge yard. Mm-hmm. So it's and, and they don't what? even do oh. the front. They just do my back because like uh, the, 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 the HOA does the front. the front. So it's literally these guys show up and they are <laughs> gone ten minutes later. Like it's three dudes. One's on the rower. One's edging, and they are just they are gone. Well, lucky you because I don't have an HOA, so I don't have anybody to cut the yard except for myself. And when I have to actually pay for somebody to cut my yard, eighty dollars. Eighty. Yeah. Jeez, I mean that. I think right. you just get you could you should you shop around. You gotta DM this TikTok guy <laughs> yeah. and tell him you're getting scammed. You're gonna get DMs from this probably from. Is it bad man. that I like, I pay almost that much yeah. for a haircut? Yeah, yeah haircuts. Yeah. I've got. I go to Witty's. No uh, Chris Whittingham. If God, I can well, I, right. yeah, Jesse, I sit My this one out. You, you gotta sit this one out. A little bit more than that. Yeah, I go yeah. to yeah. Witty's so, guy sorry, now. I used to do like it would be fifteen bucks for a haircut plus tip. It'd be like twenty five, thirty bucks out the door. Now, dude, it's like forty five bucks. Just that, and then I got a tip. 45, it, ends, huh? it ends up being like sixty. For yeah. me, it's zero. You should go. I don't know. You probably have a good barber. Well, it evens out then with yes, your long does. guy. I guess, my guy I is the Coogler, my guy. My guy's the Cadillac. This guy, he takes <laughs> the Cadillac of barbers. I'm telling Cadillac. you, every you get, like, single hot thing, towel, hot towel yeah. steamer, yeah. Oh, uh, face hot massager. Towel. How come? Like, how come I don't get a hot towel? I'm telling you, I get everything. For what you're paying, you should where ask for one. Where do they put the hot towel on your neck or on your face? Well, no, like he, like he, like. Raps, he like will leave my nose in my mouth because <laughs> he oh, does. Like a and, mummy? And it's like my I'm completely fully Cause, covered because he does your beard too, right? Yeah, yeah. he's like steam, he wants the beard to be soft, so he's oh. like steaming and he's making it wet. And it's just like I feel like I'm that sounds lovely. Does your guy give you alcohol? He has a fridge oh, where he's like, You want anything? I'm always like, No, and it's you free. It's 2 p.m. Like, uh, 2 p.m. on a Tuesday. I don't but want is a it free? Right now. My guy's so accustomed to giving me alcohol. One time, I think I went to him at 9 45 in the morning. And he's like, oh, your drink's there. I'm like, dude, whiskey on the rocks. It's not even 10. Wow, whiskey. Yeah. You well, because well, it's oh, called go, breakfast no, on that, the that river. day I didn't, but yeah, it's a brunch. <laughs> no, but like uh, I, I usually go see him like around 5 on like a Thursday or something. He's so got we're a getting TV into the up. Oh. He's like, what do you want to watch today? Like you two, I can just like tell him like, oh, like Everton game. And like we're rewatching the, the Everton game. Like it's just what? whatever I want to watch. It's Speaking of 5 o'clock on a Thursday, what is your guys' like unwind thing that you do when we're done with the shows for the week? Because – it, we we can be wound up pretty tight while we're doing these shows. It's got a, we got a lot going on when we're here. You yeah. mean other than sobbing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> other than crying. When you get home from work, the last day of the week after the last show, what, are you doing anything? Because for me, I take my contacts out and I take a nap. Oh yeah, I nap. To say, I, like, yeah. I will sometimes nap before I go get my daughter. I can't do afternoon naps anymore. It like clears me out for the whole night. Like I just don't feel right the rest of the night. <laughs> clears you out. For yeah, the whole it's night. like clears I, you out. I used to, I used to like really, like especially during the pandemic. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dur- during the pandemic, I would get home because like my workday would start at like five, and then I'd get home at three, yeah. and I'd always take a nap. But then I noticed even on days I wasn't working, when three o'clock came around, I'm like really dragging ass because it's like my body's like, well, it's nap time, and then that just like I, so I fight to not get a nap. But then like, you're just tired. I, but I, but it didn't like it's only for a short period. Then I catch a second wing, wind, wing, wind, wind, bathroom, breakfast, yeah. breakfast. Yeah. I I used to fight the naps, and then yeah. I realized I was spending more energy fighting it than <laughs> if just I just embraced sleep. it. And yeah, now, losing fight. I take I I nap like a baby. Embrace like the nap. Lehman is like appalled. I <laughs> love that that's taken off. I mean, he Embrace the nap? <laughs> no Lehman. Lehman. I'll leave it. Yeah, that's right. You coined that. <laughs> that's right. Lehman yeah. is appalled. Yeah. He he knows like just. Leave me alone. Yeah. Well, leave me alone until like six o'clock at night, and then I'll wake up and emerge, and I'll be like, Mah! 
I have my wine went already there. Has yeah. Lehman got one in the wild? Like, has any like a fan ever been like, hey, oh, is this Lehman? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm so proud of that. Have you guys have I ever told you guys my snow to nap reverse ratio? No. I think I know. I haven't told you. I don't know. I feel like that's Snored some ridiculous shit I would have told you. Did you say snow or snow? Snow. No. Snow. Snow. Snow, like snow to nap. Two random things. I'm a bit of a mummy. You live in Miami. Uh, yeah. Next, no. I want your so lasagna to nap <laughs> okay. ratio. I got one for you. <laughs> anyway, so no. I was trying to think of a rant. I was like, your lotion to nap. Okay. But so, Jess, you're from up north. So, this is probably, we're all South so Florida true. guys. So, you're from up north. When you're a kid mm -hmm. and you see snow, you're like, hell yeah, I'm going to go play in the snow. This is fantastic. And what do you hate doing? No, no, what I you definitely hate doing? thought this was like a oh, Miami. You hate taking no, a nap no. as a you kid. You hate taking a nap as a kid, but you love the snow. As you get older, man, you fucking love naps. But the, when it snows and you live up there, you're like, shit, icy roads. It's so so fascinating. There, there is a reverse snow effect. nap ratio wow. as you get older. Yeah. It's actually made sense, right? Yeah. Ha <laughs> You all made fun of me. And now look at you. You live I'm in Miami. In that yeah, same we're vein. I, 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 yeah. All right. Here's this. I have something in this similar vein. Okay. When you go to an airport. For a trip, you are so happy. You're like, let me get a drink. This is gonna be a great trip. When you get back on that, like three days later, and you're at that same airport, you just want to get out of there as fast as possible. Like mm. you hate the I do, airport. It's I do get totally, tired of vacations. That yeah. that like the 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 thought you have about this airport is just completely 180. Yeah. The the way I feel about the Miami airport taking off and landing, yes, it's the it's right. but it's kind of the opposite. Like. When I'm taking off, I'm like, oh, this place stinks. And then when I'm landing, I'm like, oh, my God, thank God the door is five feet away because there's nothing in this terminal. I can yeah. just get the yeah. hell out of here. That's true. I have an example of the exact opposite of this, a place that when you go there, you're dreading it. And when you're leaving, doctor? you're so happy. You got it. Well, this goes. I, well, I knew you were talking about doctors yeah. earlier this week. <laughs> but this, but, young. But, but By that, the way, I have an opinion on this doctor thing you guys were talking about. I don't about. like young doctors. I know you don't like no, young but doctors. It's better. But I think first. I think it depends on the doctor. First yeah. of all, if it's like a, a GP, give me a young doctor. I don't care. They were just in med school. They probably remember shit better. It's not really the I don't me want questioning them. But like remember when it comes to better. anything else, <laughs> I want like a perfectly middle-aged doctor. Right. I want like a forty-two-year-old. I agree. No offense, Mike Fuentes. I agree. I'm not even forty. <laughs> not. Super, Roy's not even forty. Right. I don't want super old. Close. I, yeah. I, 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 was gonna say, but I like. I agree with you a thousand percent. I want the nice middle ground. Give me forties, fifties. Is what I want, and, but it's not even I that don't I'm. Know about 50s, I'm not doubting the, the boomers. Are, are we sure they believe in well, well, things? I don't, but I, I don't want to go to the no. same guy they for believe in 15 things? years, no. and then all of a sudden he dies on me. That's right. the thing. That's I want. I want a familiar. Just so but if, if you're seeing you a want a doctor that's healthy, you want someone yeah. that's been around the block. <laughs> no, no, you but want like, but someone that's, not, that's seen every but bad that's thing. Specialist, and knows what they're doing. specialist, yes. But like I said, for a GP, I want a guy that's probably a little younger than me, so that way we both grow together, and he knows everything about me. You'll remember my face. You'll remember all these the things. The young people were just in med school. Like, they yeah. just did their rotation. I don't know. I mean. It's passed my, their boards. Like, they remember shit. My guy with the Yeezys. Like, I. No, no, I, no, no. I no. think that you are educated. I believe that you know everything you're talking about. It's just, I just. It's also not that shocking. He's a doctor. It's not like he's, like, you know, putting that shit on credit. He's buying it. Uh, I'm, no, like, no, no. I'm not going to a doctor who's wearing Yeezys. But what's the, the difference? Way, what's the difference? It was more just, I'm not, like. I, obviously, the Yeezys are problematic Wait, now, so but it's more just like it yeah. was more no, like I, he's too stylish foot, for me. He was yeah, like, it was age discrimination. It was. That's what you were doing. And that's what we're doing right now. Correct. And sometimes it's, it, it, it happens. Right. And, 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 and I love how we hit both ends of the spectrum. We don't want them too old, and we sure as hell don't I, want them too we young. We want middle-aged people. Exactly. Ever. <laughs> Give us This guy's having Gen a – like, he's doing fine, okay? I don't, I don't think he's going to be offended. You know, no, he's a doctor. He's so we got, we got, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, but he's, every doctor is going to be doing fine. Right. That's what I'm no, saying. No, they pay a lot for med school. Yeah. That's true. A lot of them are. Well, we got like two minutes left, so we should probably go around the room and see what we got cooking. Ooh. Oh. So, oh. yeah, we have structure now. So, Roy, what do you have? Uh, on Montgomery and Company, we have Christian Ledlow and uh, we have Deborah Peters on the show. Ooh. Nice. Jess? On Off the Looking Glass, uh, we have another new episode this week. We record them out of order, so I don't remember who the guest is. But ah, this is she's it was Lauren, after me I'm here. I'm pretty sure it was Lauren Fleshman this week. <laughs> next week, we already pre-recorded like two days ago, so I have that one fresh on my mind. And next week's episode will also be great. Golik and Smitty, we had on Sarah Sivian, talked about the NHL playoffs, an upcoming wedding, and whether or not I should skip it. Um, and I also had an episode of DNF this week with Spencer. We talked about the Mi Miami Grand Prix, so listen to that. And how much you missed it? Yeah, I had a lot of FOMO. Yeah, to the point more than you thought you'd have, right? I mean, when I saw Witty on the grid, I was like, really? And then, actually, I was like, you know what? I'm glad I'm not there. You're I'm in the comfort of my home right now. You ready now. for a little caveat on this Witty thing? At the th A couple months ago, when Witty was leaving this company? Dude, yes, I know what he, you're going to say. He reached out to me. It was like, hey, I can't go. 
And yeah. Jess, wow. like, obviously, he probably went to Jess for Jess couldn't go, so he's like, you no, want me to, I, you want had me to put, a, I had a credential that like, I didn't use. He's like, you want me to put your name as the thing? And I'm like, okay, that sounds awesome. I'll and go do that. And then he didn't And then do it, it just kind of, like, went away. No. And then, like, I reached I told out. Witty to, I told Witty, like, Chris Cody, because he, he was like, I don't think I can go. And then yeah. I was like, Witty, I was like, Chris Cody reached out to me and said he wants to go. You should ask him. Yeah, and he did. And then, and then he I never said yes. Up. I, know, I did. I reached out a couple no, weeks later. No, Witty never followed right, up. Right, that's what I mean. Witty I was, was like, like, oh, it's too late. They already approved me. Just tell me your plans changed and you can go now. like, Witty. You know the Miami yeah. Dolphins people. They would have pop probably let Chris yeah. go instead. Of, you have the same first name. Yeah. yeah. Sonny Vaccaro on Cinephile this week. We're also breaking down Guardians of the Galaxy, and me and Adnan take a stance against coffee. What? We're, against, we're an anti, what's the stance against we're an coffee? Anti, we're an anti-coffee That's podcast. That's the stupidest but thing why? I've ever heard. Like, what's like your main reasoning point in 10 seconds or less? Neither of us drink it. Coffee is so just because you don't. Yeah, just because you don't drink it, you're out. Like It's totally against See, it. It's, look at this. See, I've got you guys fired up. God damn it, it works. Check next, out Cinephile. Next mystery crate. <gasps> okay, goodbye.